Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The people of Artsakh will not accept any documents and autonomy within Azerbaijan. Artsakh Ombudsman. From unpublished memoirs of Prime Minister of Caucasian Armenia Republic, Alexander Khadisyan, they needed Karabakh Zangezur. Neutrality of France and Artsakh war. What agreements were reached following the result of trilateral meeting in Brussels? Some details by Charles Michel. His Historical and cultural monuments of Western Armenia, St. Astazatin Church in Karin, and a temple provocation was made during the festival in Tigranakert of Western Armenia. Arthur Thomasian visited the operational headquarters of the government of Republic of Artsakh in Armenia. A cultural event, Artsakh, the country of Armenia, was organized in Stepanakert. Any kind of autonomy is unacceptable for the people of Artsakh. Artsakh Ombudsman Geram Stepanyan stated this in an interview with journalists answering a question about a possible signing of an agreement between Armenia and Azerbaijan on granting Artsakh the status of cultural autonomy. This is not an end itself and not a whim. The people of Artsakh already know what the autonomy within Azerbaijan is like. They know from clear demographic indicators the discriminatory policy pursued by Soviet Azerbaijan. The number of the Azerbaijani population grew. The number of the Armenian population decreased. Azerbaijani way of life was imposed on people of Artsakh. We have repeatedly noted that we will not be part of Azerbaijan. Whoever accepted whatever was accepted, we will not be part of Azerbaijan, he said. The Ombudsman stressed that the people of Artsakh will not accept such a document if it becomes a reality. Doctor of Sciences Professor Vladimir Harutunyan in his new book refers to memoirs of the Prime Minister of Caucasian Armenia Republic Alexander Khatisyan. We present an excerpt from the book. The Turks know about all projects and deliberately oppose them. They did not want the creation of establishment of Armenia. They needed Karabakh Zangezur itself to connect Nakhijevan with Baku. They needed Akhil Kalak Lori so that they could travel from Kars and Akhil Tsekhe to Kazakh Elizabeth Apol. During this competition, the truth itself was hidden because the Turks did not want to reveal their projects and maps. However, when we had already prepared our data, drawings and border designs, which took about a month and a half from June to July, we saw that Georgians and Tatars included the same regions in their borders. An internal conflict was already here, which later escalated from the Armenian-Georgian, Armenian-Azerbaijan and Georgian-Azerbaijani wars. This conflict is still not over. With Alexander Khatisyan's memoirs in full on our official website. The National Council of Western Armenia submits a report on a Senate of France and Council of Europe on the neutrality of France and Artsakh war. The fact that Senate did not take into account the official obligation of France and its government to the Armenian people and the treaties after the First World War and was based on Soviet illegal treaties signed by parties that don't subject to international law in favor of Azerbaijan creates real difficulties for understanding France's neutrality in this conflict. In conclusion, the National Council of Western Armenia Armenia recalls that Western Armenia is a continuation of the Republic of Armenia of 1920. Therefore, the absence of representation of the state after the genocide and occupation of its population, even for several years, does not mean that this state has stopped to exist. European Council President Charles Michel made a statement following a trilateral meeting with Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Ilyam Aliyev. Today I hosted Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Ilyam Aliyev. This was our third meeting in this format. We focused on the situation in South Caucasus and the development of EU relations with the two countries as well as with wider region. We have considered the whole package of issues. We discussed humanitarian issues in detail, including efforts to clear minds, release detains and clarify the fate of missing, Charles Michel stated in a statement. Besides, in a statement Charles Michel presented the results achieved during the discussions, border issues, communications, a peace treaty, social economic development for the benefit of the two countries and their population. The Church of St. Astvatsatsin in Areg is located in the current province of Western Armenia. The monastery has two names. The first one is Geta Hayat. It got his name because the Oror River flowed next to the church. The second name, the Monastery of Holy Astvatsatsin, is associated with the place of its construction. It is built on a hill. According to the legend, the monastery was founded by the Apostol Tadeos. However, the Armenian Patriarchate of Constantinople presents certificates to the Ottoman authorities that the monastery was founded in 1440. 
1947 from several manuscripts copied in a monastery, it became clear that during the 16th to 18th century, the monastery was an educational center and served as a cathedral. In 1898, the newspaper The East turned to this monastery, writing that the monastery was in bad conditions. The lands adjacent to it were owned by random people. There is also a mention of Bishop Tertat Palian monitoring this monastery. He notes that with regret he was unable to obtain reliable information about the current state of the monastery. During the festival called Off Roads Festival in the Lija province of Tigranakert of Western Armenia, a bus was bypassed in a central part of the city, on which a photo of an armed Topolos man was posted. The name of the latter is known from history as one of the authors of bloody pogroms against courts, Greeks, and Armenians. The festival was held at the suggestion of Vice Governor of Tigranakert in Girasun, Murat Osturk, and at a corporation with the government of Girasun. The bus was provided by the governor of Girasun to transport the participants. It should be noted that Topolos Man was the co-author and perpetrator of bloody attacks on Greeks and Armenians in a Black Sea and a Sebastia on Courts Alevis, the mass demonstration of whose photo caused a wave of protest among the population. Western Armenia condemns this and similar actions while assessing the attitude of a reasonable and democratic society towards this act and its organizers. On May 23rd, the chairman of National Assembly of the Republic of Artsakh, Artur Tomasyan, met in Yerevan with the head of operational staff of the government of Republic of Artsakh, Mikhail Virabyan, and various groups of displaced areas located in the headquarters. Tomasyan expressed concern about the unique traditions and the future fate of various layers of culture under the control of enemy. In the recent past, such a problem arose in terms of preserving the culture values of Shaomian Gulistan, and now we are facing the problem of preserving the tangible and intangible heritage of Hadrut Dizak. Mikhail Virabia noted that a strive in very possible way to keep the national, cultural and educational upbringing of younger generation among the displaced people from Artsakh living in Armenia in a center of attention and provide comprehensive assistance to this process. On May 22nd, the Palace of Culture and Youth of Stepanakert hosted a concert of students of the capital's Children and Youth Creative Center dedicated to the history of Artsakh. At the event, the students of the center presented patriotic performances and national dances. In an interview with the correspondent of Artsakh Press, Chairman of Council of Stepanakert's Children and Youth Creative Center, Ludmila Barsegyan, noted that the purpose of this event was one thing, to remind the audience once again on the history of Artsakh. The event was attended by President of Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, First Lady Kristina Arutunyan, co-founder of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative, Ruben Vartanyan, and other officials. Now musical part, Armenian folk song, Varujan Markaryan, Garung. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.